Hello YouTube. Yes, it is me once again. Okay, well, I think I figured out what I'm going to talk about for my first O'Brien soapbox. And here it is. I am going to talk about the i the iPod Touch. Now, I know a lot of people around me here have been like, "Oh yeah, the iPod Touch is the greatest. It's the best thing ever. Oh, I love it so much. Look at all the little apps I can do. I can touch it. I can play I can play my little music. I can touch it and I can shoot a gun. It's not real." And I'm like, "Wow. Isn't that special?" But recently one of my friends had uh, gotten the iPod Touch and brought it over to my place and we were playing around with it. And um I noticed on the back it said it only had eight gigs, and I asked him like, "Hey, uh, dude, how much did this cost you?" It's like, "Oh yeah, it was like three hundred bucks, three hundred dollars." He's like, "Yeah, man, it was the best. It was on sale." You, sp I said, "You know, you spent three hundred dollars on an eight gigabyte iPod." Yeah, so that's a ripoff, dude. Yeah, but look, it's got a touch screen. I'm sitting back. I'm like, "Wow." Personally, I have the iPod Video, the original iPod. I have 30 gigs. I have 30 gigabytes of memory on it. That is a hell of a lot more. I can I can watch videos. Really, the only thing the iPod I can't do that the iPod Touch can is get some of the apps and touch screen. But that's it. But I can I can watch videos. I can listen to my music. I mean, to me, it just seems useless. You spend, I think, a couple like two or three times more than you would, and you get a less of the memory. The only different thing is, hey, look, I got a touch screen. Well, now, isn't that just dandy? I mean, I was originally thinking about getting the iPod Touch when it first came out. You know, we're all sitting back we're like, yeah. I know some of you guys remember the, the iPod Touch. like, wow, it's an iPod with a touch screen. Oh, this is going to be great. Sure, it's going to be a bit expensive, but I don't care, man. It's got a fucking touch screen. So, you know, so, you know, we were all waiting, and then when it came out, I'm like, you know what, I got a regular iPod, I don't need an iPod Touch. Then as time goes on, I'm thinking, wow, apparently I'm the only smart one. Because a lot of people have dumped a couple thousand, like thousands of dollars on their iPod Touches because people have stolen them, and then they bought another one, then that one got stolen, and then they bought another one, and that one got stolen. It just goes on and on. <laughs> Breaks, I mean... Now the big thing with the iPod Touch is jailbreaking it, so you can do certain special things with it. Now that kind of special things, but like, I don't know what yet. I don't feel like jailbreaking anyone's iPod, but really, yeah, it's like to me, it's useless. It's like, well, so what? You get to guess what? You get to have a touch screen. Get a phone. Phones have touch screens, and they're a lot cheaper. If you really need the urge for a touch screen, get a phone with a touch screen it's a lot cheaper than just keep a regular ipod you can get a lot more memory for a lot less money like you know how the big thing is like all the huge technology advances but everything comes at a price with the ipod touch it's it's memory and it's cash value it's a lot more expensive the only different thing is touch screen but yeah moving on from that um <coughs> Yeah. Yeah, moving on. <coughs> the iPhone, the second part of what I wanted to talk about. Now then, the iPhone. Recently I was watching X Play, and uh, they were showing you how to jailbreak your iPhone. So I'm watching it, There's and they're uh, saying, you know, just go onto this site, sync your iPod, download the thing. Sure, the only sure the only drawbacks is you've completely screwed up your warranty, you dishonored the uh, contract you signed, and you've possibly destroyed your iPod. But guess what? It's jailbroken. I mean, like, with the uh, iPhone, the, the uh, one... The original iPhone 3G, not the one that you can like text now. People did it so they could text message and things. Um, I remember my uh, band teacher from school, Mr. Brooks. He had um, <coughs> he had an iPhone, and you know he was pretty glad with it. Just the only way he could send messages that weren't calls were through emails, and most of the messages he had to send was to his mother because I don't know, he just had to see his mother. Mother wasn't feeling well, I guess, and um. <coughs> And the only way you could do it was through a email. Now I know if I did that to my grand to my uh grandmother, she would have no clue what to do. My mom would sorta of know, but it would still be a lot harder. But really the thing is you gotta 
I mean, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of a lot of risks. I mean, with the iPhone, sure, wow, it's basically an iPod Touch, and you can make calls. You can get all, you can get a lot of the same apps, and and even more of them. But you have to sign a two-year contract. You got to pay. It's pay him an arm and a leg and half a nose, I guess. I don't know. But either way, it's extremely, it's brutally expensive. And now with the new iPhone, like, yeah, guess what? You can text message now. Well, that's great, but what about all the other flaws the thing has? Like, one of my friends, he accidentally got a drop. I mean, just a little drop of water on his, and it, and it just died. Like, you know how in the science class they give you those little eye droplet things? That was basically it. Just dropped a little bit on it, and it fried, and it got screwed up. So, yeah. I mean, the iPhone has its problems, but it is a pretty good advancement in phones. I have to say that. I wouldn't want to own one right now with the price, and I also prefer Verizon. But, I mean, the way it's going, I mean... (sighs) Brutally expensive, you had to, I mean, you can only text message, if you had the older version of the iPhone, you can only text message through an app, and you can only do it 20 times a day. If you and, your, if you and a friend are talking about something, you, you'll blow through 20 text messages in about, I don't know, 5, 10 minutes. And then you'll be sitting there and say, hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Why aren't you talking to me? And he doesn't answer his phone because he's a dick, and he only likes to text message. So, yeah, everything's got its problems, I'm trying to work it out, and this is it for O'Brien's Soapbox. It's the end of the first episode, and I will look for any comments or anything you guys want me to talk about. Alright, peace out, people.